it working? Good. Uh, hello, my name's Ken Weston, and uh, I develop spyware. Um, software that hijacks your computer, accesses your web camera, tracks location, as well as tools that track you down through photos posted online and gathers intelligence across social media. Uh, but don't worry, I'm on your side. Maybe. Uh, there are just a few examples here coming up of uh, cases I've actually been involved with where I helped recover stolen devices, um, where we actually recover information from them. In many cases, we actually reveal a lot of other crimes um, in the process from st other stolen property um, to other more violent crimes. When I tell people that I track down bad guys, this is what they assume. Uh, it's actually a lot nerdier than that. Um, I got started with this when I was uh, develop working for a software company and uh, researching malware. I ended up uh, accidentally developing a tool that would hijack computers when you would connect a device to it. Um, I sold this uh, software for free as a way to recover stolen devices. Um, shortly thereafter, we started getting recoveries. Um, actually recovered a flash drive um, at a university. We tracked it down to a specific computer lab, and we got lucky because the lab required a student ID card swipe, and it also had a, uh, a video there for us. So one piece of information actually connected other evidence that led, to, led to the recovery of the device. There is a uh, principle, uh, basically every contact leaves a trace. It's the guiding principle of Edmund Lacard, who's the founder of forensic science. Of course, he's referring to physical crimes at the time, but it carries over into the digital world as well, particularly with mobile devices as they become, uh, blur the boundary between virtual and physical worlds. There exist fragments of data on our devices and across the web that, for the most part, are uh, hidden and anonymous. However, once we start drawing connections between those pieces of information, we can start to develop a profile. Not only who you are, but also where you've been, what you've done, and in some cases, even your personality type. Now, the devices that we carry ourselves actually uh, provide all the tools we need to conduct surveillance. A laptop has a web camera, a microphone, um, we can capture screenshots, uh, we can even get location from Wi-Fi networks. In fact, the first uh, computer I recovered uh, was in Brooklyn, New York, where we, our software actually got photos of the person that had it, gathered location information, led police to a tattoo parlor, where they also found a lot of other stolen property, including three laptops from other cases. Another example was here in Portland, where we helped police unveil a large theft ring that was targeting Portland schools. Uh, after tracking a laptop to Vancouver, of all places. <clears throat> and uh, they went in and they arrested six people. Um, none of them knew our software was involved. Um, the police let them believe that they had ratted each other out, which is pretty awesome. Um, when it comes to snitches, our phones are the worst. Our phones know everything about us. Um, they know who our friends are. They know where we've been. Uh, they have access to our photos and all of our personal information. And they're very easy to interrogate. And yes, I built an app for that. Uh, Sprint stores actually installed our software on all their demo units. Um, one store got robbed. And not only were we able to track the device, uh, we were also able to access photos that the thieves were taking of themselves. Um, <laughs> And if we can go ahead and enhance this image here in the corner, I think I see something. Um, there's a trip permit uh, with the, uh, a number on there which helped the police uh, recover that device. This unveiled another theft ring. Uh, more people were arrested. We even recovered a stolen car. So not only the images provide evidence, but also the data that's embedded in the image itself. Uh, we can get a timestamp, um, phones embed geolocation. There's also serial numbers, which I'll get to. There was actually a hacker recently that got busted um, who was breaking into law enforcement servers. Um, he actually posted his exploits online uh, with some photos of his girlfriend with some uh, interesting messages. The problem is he took the photo with an iPhone that had location information. The police tracked it down to his girlfriend's house in Australia, and they're in a relationship on Facebook. Busted. So as an experiment, I actually wrote a spider that actually goes out and indexes uh, photo-sharing websites, grabbing serial numbers off of... Um, off of photos and storing it into a database that people can search um, for their stolen cameras. Um, and it worked. Um, we actually had a case um, in LA where a guy searched a camera that was stolen over a year ago. Um, and uh, we were able to track it down about $9,000 worth of equipment that was stolen uh, at the Egyptian theater. Um, so uh, there's a lot of data that gets out there. I did another experiment because um, I had kind of lost faith in humanity. Um, I actually tried to get my laptop stolen. 
Um, I actually got the laptop stolen eight, taken eight times, uh, but it had my contact information, and eight times people called me back. So, you know, not everyone's evil, uh, especially in Portland. Thank you.